joining me in today's technical corner is Graham, the MD of Vargas UK. And initially, Graham, we're going to be talking about some of your threading products. So yeah, let, let, let's start. Maybe the one in the middle. Yep. So morning anyway, Joe. This is the um, TMDR cutter. So this is a three-in-one thread mill. So you can produce a threaded hole without the need for drilling the hole first. So what you would do is circular and turbulate. Um, and then once you come out, you can chamfer the top of the hole to produce a completed feature with only the one tool. Yeah, that, but that's that's fascinating. Is it just for non-ferrous or is it for other materials as well? Like what, um, what are the uh, restraints? Can yeah, I mean, where we would pitch the um, cutter is on non-ferrous materials, aluminium, copper. We believe that this tool is just as quick as drilling and tapping, regardless of the amount of holes that you have. However, on um, your steels or your harder materials, um, or where you've got a vast amount of holes. Um, this feature is good if you have one or two holes on the component, but obviously if you have 20, 30, 40 holes, it's always going to be quicker to drill and then thread mill, or if you would prefer to tap the holes. Sure, the advantages on a, a VMC or a five axis, they're quite obvious. Is, is, is the advantage is the same on the lathe, on a mill, mill turn, for instance? Yeah, I mean, um, first you mentioned on a VMC. On the VMC, if you have a, um, a smaller machine with a carousel type turret where you can only hold 20 tools, obviously if you have this tool in, you're releasing kind of two or three extra spaces. On the mill turn machines where we see a real benefit or our customers see a real benefit is you would need less driven units to produce a thread with this hole. So potentially saving customers thousands of pounds on needing yeah, to. Yeah, they're not cheap, are they? Yeah, yeah. So, you know, sometimes if you're producing two different types of threaded holes, you could need five, six driven holders, which obviously, you know, you're running out of space. It's a high cost to customers. Mm -hmm. In terms of the programming, how, how easy is it? Do, do things like Siemens and Fanuc, do they have cycles or do you have any apps that could help? Yeah, so we have our Vargas Genius app, which I've used a lot um, be before this job in my employment when I was running a machine shop. All of our guys used the app, so it's quite easy to use. It's available on mobile phone, desktop, and basically you, you would fill in the parameters of the, what you're trying to produce. So you would click on metric, M10, internal thread, click on your material and it will give you a list of tools to select from it will give you all the dimensions of those tools you'll select the correct tool it will produce a CNC program for any of the languages which you've just spoke about it will also give you the cycle time and a full report and you will be able to download a model to put into your CAD CAM software. Wow, and that's conversational, so it's not really programming as such? Yeah, really, it's a conversational app where you're just filling in questions and boxes. Oh, very good. How about this this, um, this, this multi-flute thread mill? Yep, so this is the multi-flute. This is a six, um, seven flute tool, um, which is a pretty new product, only a couple of years old, and it's available in uh, Metric and UN. And what are the advantages against tapping? So the advantages on this tool over tapping are um, firstly um, tool life, secondly I think we on most applications we can match the cycle time of tapping, um, you get improved tool life, you control the depth of your thread more efficiently mm -hmm. and also obviously it's adjustable so you can move your offset. And does that perform just like a traditional thread mill, the fact that it's got more flutes, or, or presumably it's quicker? Yeah, so it's, it's quicker, around about 40% quicker than a standard thread mill. Um, however, the programming is slightly different. Again, this is you can program this on the Genius app, and what this does, it's more of a trichoidal mm -hmm. strategy. So it drops down to full depth and it steps out over, and uh, you know, small widths of cut, but a very high feed rate due to the seven flutes. Sure, and Vargas is a company, I think most people watching this will have, if you haven't used your products, they've certainly heard of you. So why, why are you so good at threading? Um, I think, you know, this is an area where we specialize. So our main focus under the Vardex banner is, is threading, thread turning, thread milling. And I think like mm -hmm. any company, when you specifically focus on that product and you dedicate all of your R&D and research into that area, that is where you're the most strong. All of our guys are technically trained on the product. They all know how to you know, program threads. They all cut threads every day. And it's just the area of, of intense focus for us. Yeah. And just finally, just briefly on the indexable. Obviously, that's going to be when you're getting much bigger in diameters. Yeah, so we, you know, we have a huge range of indexable products. This particular product is the MITM, which we call our super fast thread milling option. And as you can tell, it's a comb type thread mill. Mm -hmm. So, you know, very quick cycle times available in all different materials and thread forms. All you have to do is take the insert mm -hmm. out, put a different insert in, and you're away on a different size thread. 
There we are. Thank you, Graham. Yeah. So if you, you know, if you want to learn more about threading, maybe you want to look at a, a different supplier, why not try the, uh, the team at Vargas?